right, hey ladies, this is gonna be my signature makeup look, so let's get started. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion, and I'm going to use this to prime my eyelids. Eyeshadow primer helps your, found your foundation, your eyeshadow to last um, way longer and really helps to have the eyeshadow appear more vibrant. For my eyeshadow now, I'm gonna use Amber Lights by MAC. You can use any gold color really. I also use Half Baked sometimes by Urban Decay. It's really pretty, but any gold eyeshadow will do. And I go ahead and pack that on all over my lid. I'm using my e.l.f. eyeshadow, Eyes Lips Face eyeshadow brush. This thing is awesome. You can buy it at Target. And guess what? It's only a dollar. Oh, and I also dragged this eyeshadow on my lower lash line as well, just to add some, only the inner portion, just to add some brightness to the area. Next, I'm going to use Texture by MAC. You can use any, you know, warm, soft brown to just um, blend out the harsh edges of this gold that we just laid down. Blending is like the key to making your, founda your foundation, oh my gosh, your eyeshadow. Um, just to look more professional and to look clean and so we're just gonna use a warm brown that's close to your uh, natural flesh tone to just blend out those edges next I use soft brown nah -uh. yes I next I use brown script by Mac and it's a little bit it's even warmer than um, texture and I'm going to use that as well to help blend out the area All right, so next I'm using a dark brown, preferably warm, but it can be cool as well. It's called Sleek by The Bomb Cosmetics, and I'm taking that on another flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm using it just to contour my crease, applying it right there in the outer V. I'm fanning it inward, um, and also using it the brush to carve out my crease. I'm gonna go back with a um, blending brush and blend out the area as well, but I'm just using this to sort of just place the eyeshadow and um, start the initial, you know, blending process. Like I said earlier, now I'm using that um, same brush that I had used earlier that has soft brown and texture on it and blend out the edges of that dark brown that I just laid down. So here you see me using a flat matte black and um, it's called Carbon by MAC and I'm going ahead and adding that to the outer portion and um, or am I? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm adding it to the outer portion and just blending it just to help deepen up that area even more. Now I'm using this cold pencil by MAC. It is called Smolder and I'm using that to just line my waterline and I'm dragging it just a little bit below my waterline as well. And I'm going to tight line as well. I like doing this to help, you know, make the you know just intensifies a smoky look but I understand it may be uncomfortable for some so you can skip it if you'd like so now I'm winging out my eyeliner I'm using black radiance's liquid liner I think it's like a few dollars at Walmart so hit that up too and I'm just uh, taking my time to go ahead and line my upper lash line and winging out the end All right, so now I'm using Carbon again. It's a matte black to just um, just to I'm applying it over that smolder that I applied earlier, just to make sure that that eyeliner doesn't move. Now I'm using Sin by Urban Decay, one of my favorite highlights, and I'm applying that under the arch of my brow. Sometimes I tend to overdo it when it comes to highlight, so I always usually have to go back with my blending brush that has soft brown on it just to blend out the edges and make it less harsh. All right, so now it's time for lashes. Okay, so I'm using this beauty supply brand with my duo adhesive in the dark tone. I'm applying this all over the band of the eyelash, making sure to get the, tip, the tips really well. I'm gonna use a tweezer. Now here's the thing, it's the secret guys. Let the glue dry for at least 30 seconds, waiting for it to become tacky before applying it to um, your lash line. This helps it to adhere better. I'm gonna I'm gonna push it 
um, on the middle as close as I can get it to the lash line, then adhere it on the end, and then adhere it toward the middle. It's way easier this way. I'm using my Black Radiance Face Primer to help my foundation to last all day. Um, and um, the foundation I'm gonna use is CoverGirls 3-in-1 Foundation. Love this stuff. I'm using my e.l.f powder brush I think is what it is it's like a flat top um, brush and I'm applying the foundation all over my face making sure to buff in really well this foundation is buildable I'm applying it medium here this is max studio finish concealer in NC42 I am highlighting under my eyes um this is no, it's not NC42, I lie, this is NC45. I sometimes use NC42, I have that one too. But I wasn't trying to go do super, super highlighted look here. Sometimes I do. I didn't feel like doing it that day. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, so now I'm using NYX's concealer in a jar. And this is like the same color as my skin tone. I think it's called Nutmeg. And I'm just going in and, um, you know, covering up the acne scars that I have, stuff that the foundation missed. Like I said, I um, only applied it very, you know, medium on a sheer wise, you know. Anyway, so um, this is the Max Studio Fix powder. I'm using this to set my foundation. I could have used a powder that was a shade lighter under my eyes, like I said, to give it more of a highlighted look. Sometimes I do it, like I said, that day, I didn't feel like doing it, but you could do it if you like. All right, so this is the Black Radiance. What is this? face powder in ebony and I'm using this to contour my face all around my hairline adding some depth back to the face making sure to carve out my cheekbones right under my cheekbones right there you see it right there blending that in very well all right after I'm done with that I'm gonna hit a blush my second favorite part um, after my eyelashes this is Cabana Boy by the Bomb Cosmetics it's a beautiful color I wish you guys can see it here the lighting is kind of washing it out You'll be able to see it later on in the pictures if you stay tuned till the very end. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. It's really pretty too. Anyway, so now I'm using my e.l.f. Um, setting spray and applying that all over my face helps set my look. Alright, so next I'm using my EOS um, mo lip moisturizer to prepare for my lip look. This is Night Moth by MAC. You can use a dark brown, that's fine. But I just like to use this one um, with a um, nude color sometimes because it makes my nude a little bit more pink. Um, yeah, so this is Taupe by MAC I'm just applying or I applied here. And it's a very, very, very pretty nude for women of color. And this is what I would do if I would be doing a nude look, but I usually don't. I usually do like a bold lip. So this is Night Moth again. I'm using this to um, prepare for my pink lipstick. Here it is. Look at that. That's a Rose Hip by Milani. Shout out to the subby that um, suggested this lipstick to me. It is gorgeous. What's the name? I think it's Miss Mommy's Gal. Is that what it is? Hey, Miss Mommy's Gal. This lipstick is bomb. I love it. Look, it's beautiful. You can't tell me it's not. All right, ladies, this is the final look. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Look at the pictures. Look at them cheeks. I know you see them cheeks. I know you see them. Love this blush. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time in another video. And as always, God bless.